Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry tweeted, it is an important day in Jacksonville. In an election, again, he calls very important. And it wasn't cheap for those the city to hold the runoffs. Action News Jack's Ben Becker is live downtown. And Ben, this election is costing taxpayers more than a million dollars. Tanika, I'm just told that's the cost of doing business. Now, here at the Supervisor of Elections Office, it's been slow going on this sidewalk. Not a lot of people come and walk in here today to do their absentee voting here or the 199 precincts as well. But one of the things that I talked to the Supervisor of Elections about is the cost of this election. And he says he just did what he had to do to try to reduce costs. A near empty parking lot, walkway, and no lines. Many voters in Jacksonville elected not to vote on Election Day. No interest. No interest. So just too busy? Yep. I'm not a U.S. citizen. Only about 54,000 of more than 608,000 registered voters in Jacksonville cast the ballot in early voting. That's to fill five city council seats. That's a shade under 9%, with only 3 to 4% more expected today. It's miserable to me because as an American, I think it's your duty to vote. Supervisor of Elections Mike Hogan tells me despite the numbers, Jacksonville will avoid a record low turnout. Hogan says he tried to find ways to save money on the $1.2 million bill to run this runoff election. We turned down the number of ballots that we, we would uh, print. Hogan says that was a savings of twenty dollars to $30,000. Bruce Barcelo did vote today and takes the costs in stride. Part of the civic infrastructure is, uh, you know, nobody may be driving over the bridge at 3 o'clock in the morning. You still need the bridge there. Elena Green, who also voted, said neighbors have a responsibility to make their voices heard if they want a better city. So if you don't take a seat at the table, you can't complain about the meal being served. Correct. And results will be counted at the Tabulation Center tonight. Tonight's winners take office starting July the 1st. Morning live downtown, Ben Becker, CBS 47, Action News Jax. And as always, Action News Jax will post results as soon as they start to come in on the Action News Jax app and on actionnewsjax.com.